Hi everyone, this is Will with Hodl Hodl Exchange, and today I'd like to show 10 steps to increase security and lower risk when trading Bitcoins and Litecoins at Hodl Hodl Exchange. First, we should practice on testnet to verify we have the trading process down. It's great to utilize testnet. Testnet exists for a reason and it's for practicing trading Bitcoins and Litecoins. So it's a good resource to take advantage of. So here we are at testnet.hodlhodl.com. So that would be the first step to take to verify you have the best security practices and lowest risks when trading Bitcoin and Litecoin. The second step we should take is setting up two-factor authentication. So let's go ahead and go to hodlhodl.com and here I am already logged in. My profile here, edit, two-factor authentication. We have a separate video detailing this process and showing you. The link is in the description below so make sure you set up two-factor authentication. Next we can go to edit profile again and notification urgency. So the default is regular, but you want to verify you have at least important or regular. So I would choose regular or unimportant to be sure that you are notified of any happenings, any actions, events related to your trades. Okay, next release address. So let's go from the home page here. Let's go ahead and click exchange. Now let's go to trading settings. So you want to verify you have the correct Bitcoin and Litecoin addresses in your trading settings here. The next step is payment methods. You want to choose payment methods that have a low risk. Let's go global So here we can see different payment methods and we do have guides here, help guides, and we do mention risk classification. And this is a good resource here to learn about how we classify risks. Okay, next, for your very first trade or first trade with someone, set the first trade limit or only do a first trade for a small amount. That is a good practice. Next is the time window the payment window here. So you want to verify that this is a fair setting. You might not want a payment window that's open for 10,000 minutes, for example. This is one metric, one variable in the equation here of the deal that you want to verify is correct and optimal. Confirmations. This is important. You probably want to choose somewhere between one and six confirmations as opposed to zero to verify the transaction. Next is your payment password. And here I have an active pending contract. And once I click deposit bitcoins, this is my payment password. This is best to be stored in three different safe places, ideally offline. I like to say two is one and one is none. However, if you were to lose one of your two sources of your password, then you're just down to one and you're relying on one single source. So I don't like that. That's why three is best. The payment password is a key to lock and unlock funds from the multi-sig wallet. It's very important you store this and not lose it. So keep it safely in three different places. Okay, and now that the Bitcoin seller has safely locked the funds in escrow, we are notified the funds are locked in escrow. The final step in our 10 step process to verify we have the highest security and lowest risk when conducting Bitcoin and Litecoin trades here is to make sure that as the Bitcoin buyer that I wait until the coins are in escrow before I send the fiat or funds in this case. And we can even see the deposit transaction ID. So this is a great idea to click this to check this transaction. Okay, contract has been paid. 
then as the Bitcoin seller, it's important that the seller waits until he has received the buyer's payment. For example, I could check my online banking account right now and verify that the funds are in there. Only once I've checked the payment, then I click release deposit. These are great ideas to ensure you have the best security and lowest risk when trading Bitcoin and Litecoin. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here for more Bitcoin, Litecoin, and crypto related videos like this. Follow us on Twitter, join our Telegram chat. All right, thanks, bye.